Hello everybody and welcome to a new play now today with a game called Aporia Beyond the Valley which is a game made by a studio called Investigate North and this is the demo version of it. I uh, don't actually remember how I got it. There doesn't seem to be a demo on Steam but I, I somehow have the demo on Steam. I, I tend to forget these things because we... We plan these shows about a month or two in advance and we tend to push back things if other more immediate stuff shows up and we have to do that content first. And I think this got pushed back quite a bit. It was launched on the 19th of July, so it's quite recent. So we probably had it since uh, probably February. Th that that's how these things go. This is a game made on a CryEngine engine, and it doesn't seem to have uh, kept the previous settings I said. So let's try this again. Yes, apply these changes. I hope nothing explodes. And uh, much like the demo of Everspace, not Everspace, pardon me, no, um, Endless Space 2, this is gonna be a first impression for me because I have not actually played this before. I just hope it runs well. I mean, in the menu it runs fantastically. It's at over 300 frames a second. So let's click New Game and uh, see what all this is about. I may have to turn down the settings a bit when I get in-game, in case there's some issues with it running uh, too slowly. I mean, it's a Cry engine, and I'm only running an i5 and an RX 480, which is uh, something that the Cry engine may frown upon from then then. But this is, from uh, from what I take, uh, not a very, very intensive game in terms of uh, particle effects, fast movement, and stuff you'd see in FPS. I mean, the black screen is at 60 frames a second now, it's at 51, 46, okay, yeah, 40, 52 isn't bad, it's in my free sync range. Aporia, beyond the valley of dolls, I don't know what valley, there's a lot of valleys, valleys everywhere. From the screenshot, sort of got that the game was a bit similar to the Talos Principle and uh, the, the um, what's the name, the one that Joe Blow did? The Wanderer, no, the Visitor, the, um, the whatchamacallit, the one where you draw lines, it's, ah, oh, god damn it. Well, oh, John Dumblow, not Joe Blow. <laughs> Sorry, John, Joe, Joe Blow is a, a way of saying just your average person. The guy that made the other game with the uh, platforming and the time controls and stuff. The Witness, yeah, that, that's the, the one, thank you, chat. No, there is no chat, this is actually being recorded live, oh my god, look at the water. It's running at 69, 50, 65 frames a second. The demo build thing is right over the, um, well, it's right under the uh, the frame counter, so you can actually see it very well. Press space to jump. Okay, I did that. I did it all by myself. So here we have, oh my god, why did you leave this in? Unless the, the, the spoiler for the show, for the show for, pardon, for the game is that I am a robot. Why am I seeing fingerprints? Lens scratches and dust on my goddamn eyes. Now, if this was the Talos principle, yeah, I get that because in that game you're a robot. But I just woke up in this water thing, so I'm either a uh, water resistant robot or this is absolutely stupid because you left the default thing on and should have removed it. But well, okay, 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 okay. This is the demo. They may have fixed this in the final version. I can't say for sure, because I don't know. But let's get into actually playing it. Okay, we pick up the vial that lets us light, light stuff up. And here we see someone else. They should have probably been awakened before us. And Okay, yeah, I am getting a bit of screen tearing when I go above my free sync range. Let's see, what's the... Uh, I'm going to turn in the other counter because it's easier to see. I should probably enable V-Sync. So this is a good uh, test case for uh, for testing out tearing for the monitor. Thing is, tearing didn't doesn't appear in some games even when it goes over the limit. For example, Rainbow Six Siege, I would sometimes get over 100 frames and still no tearing, but in this one, I get it instantly, like when it goes over the maximum. Also, the uh, the frame limiting thing, the frame. Uh, what you call it in the AMD Radeon software is absolute bollocks. It doesn't work. It will not. Oh god damn it! I hate it. I hate the lighting effect. See, I'm trying to stand around here, being immersed in the game in its very, very beautiful architecture with um, 
See, this is the that's the scribe that may have been something of knowledge. And is the light lighting up differently depending on where I look? Is the light a screen effect? I think it is. We have the archer, the hunter. We have the um, harvester, grain stuff. I think we have the uh, the builder, and I was the this I was the light priest or something. And this, this is probably dead. This is the uh, the boatman from the Volga, maybe. And we are all in a city, probably ruling it. Oh, I like the cloth. Can I go through it? Okay, that's kind of horrible. Did I turn the FOV hard in the game allowed me? No, maybe. Maybe it doesn't like very high FOV, I don't know. Yeah, that, that's not a very good way to implement the effect, but so it, it, at least they put it in there. So we were... I thought there was a person there. So we were all here, probably leading this city. And then something happened. Click. And voila. It shows me another person. The alchemist or something from the looks of it. He alchemized something... And that probably blew up the city, right? Ooh, okay, this is actually very nice. It's not just one place that gets illuminated with stuff. It's every place. Okay. And that guy made stuff and... Then he gave it to... The red person. The red priest. Or something. Oh my god, you made coke! The can we shoot into our veins! Amazing! I'll just use it right now and it's gonna be amazing next time please make some meth I heard this Walter White guy has a really good recipe and they gave that potion out to everybody I see there's the meth see there, there's the crystal blue meth that Walter White makes and they give the thing to the people and then they all decided to have a party and went to the other screen they probably want to kill God or something. That's usually how things go. They always go to kill God. Which kind of makes sense. I mean, in all sort of... Kind of all his incarnations, he is a dick. Like an absolute dick. Like, very, very abusive. Okay, so he um, told them to go there. And, oh, I think... Oh, no, wait. Maybe... Oh, that's the vial I picked up. Okay, so it's not meth. Okay, it's not coke. Okay, I get, I get it. And that opened the the thingamabob. And gave us, I don't know, immortality? Snowflakes? Candy? Tyrannosaurus Rexes? I have to press right thumb? No, I just press this. <gasps> I get to move this! Okay, so I get to move this, but I don't know why. Okay, so I can do this. Okay, get it. And it's open. Then it's still glowing quite a bit. I really hate that effect. I really hate, hate, hate that effect. And voila, we are... Oh, this is a very, very red dawn from the sound of it. I'm going to turn off the thing with Bob because the turning is gone because I'm under the, uh, the frame limit. The uh, maximum frame... Uh, maximum refresh rate of the monitor. Now, if it wasn't for all this red haze, this this scene may actually would actually look very beautiful, but the redness of it just makes it, it makes it look kind of brown, actually, kind of boring and brown. Pictures don't look bad. I can see the bump mapping, and I'm again over. I'm at 76 and getting frame tearing. That's that said. Should have gotten a 76 hertz monitor. Does the water react to me? It sort of does. Ooh, I'm moving the lily leaves. The Pulley pond leaves, the things, the stuff. They're moving around. That's cute. Again, I still have no idea what to do in this game, but at least you can run in it, so it's not your Esther. So it already has more gameplay than your Esther, so we're safe in that uh, aspect. Let's see. For a second, I thought I saw a lizard. This sort of reminds me a bit of the, um, the beginning of Jedi Academy where you killed the lizards. The screaming, the howler, li howler lizards. Okay, this place looks better. There is no red glow here. I actually enjoy it. Actually, I should, I should turn off the, 
the uh, where, no, okay that's not a button okay there yeah that's the one I turn off the um, LED glow from my keyboard because the bottom of the screen was becoming green on account of the green LED it's from the habit one okay here we have another tutorial we can ref refill our thingamabob by using this okay we refilled it what now can we stick it somewhere where the sun don't shine because we can use it as a flashlight as a glow light there's a something well, the lighting like in most games when you have a flash or something like this it doesn't really light up all that much but look at here look here like it lights all the way up like i'm gonna go in this direction it lights all the way to there and yeah there's dynamic uh, shadows by the way, dynamic shadows like these not all that impressive since they've been in games. They've been in games since Half-Life 2 Episode 2. Also, they, they don't look like they're projected upon the wall. They sort of look like they're projected in mid-air. And they have a sort of uh, ambient occlusion style effect to them that's kind of gnarly and janky. Oh my god, th this shadow is rendering on top of me. The shadow is rendering through me. Oh boy. <laughs> I uh, could have sworn that uh, Cryengine settled on uh, functional global illumination and the uh, shadows in uh, ye yonder years of Far Cry 1 or Crisis, Crisis Wars at least or something like that. But um, making a shadow of a... T well, this is basically a 2D sprite. Like, it, it's, it doesn't have a... Thickness to it. It's it's a do the plants are horrible in games. Can can we just admit this? Pl look at this. It's it's a do the plane with no depth to it. There there is no actual plant there. It's 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 a it's a texture applied to a plane that doesn't have a third dimension. Plants are horrible. The, the plants were the worst part of uh, the uh, vanishing of Ethan Carter, which was a superb looking game. But if plants actually look normal. It would have been amazing. So you have to connect this somehow. Why can't why doesn't it go? What did I do wrong? Okay, am I supposed to connect these two? Maybe I'm supposed to start somewhere else. Or I don't have enough power yet? Do I not have enough power in the thing of pop yet? Do I have to look for more? Okay, maybe I'm supposed to look for more power. Unspeakable power. Oh no, maybe I was just supposed to activate this one first. Yeah, this drains power from it. But I activated this bit. And that in turn activated this bit. And I can crouch here anymore. Okay, I can crouch here. Okay, and let's put it here. And now the power is drained. Okay, so I have to find more power to progress. And we have a... So this must be the area of the builder. Like the first boss, you have to kill the builder, or maybe it's too real from uh, from what you call it, from the legacy of Cain. And I really maybe there's an explanation for the red. Maybe the sun is dying and is going super red giant and it's trying to swallow us. Yeah, okay, I I get that. Otherwise, the effect just looks jank, really, really, really janky, and kind of not really all that uh, nice. Also, you know this, the way that the. Uh, Or those shadows? Yeah, I think I think the lighting and shadows are tied to your orientation. They're kind of fake and not all great, all that great looking. Which is sad because the game otherwise looks quite nice. I mean, it's a cry engine game; they all look nice. You can pretty much make nothing and still it will look nice. Okay, I have to press um, L3 and X, which well, I do have my gamepad next to me, but it's not turned down, and I don't think the game will recognize it if I turn it down right now. But uh, maybe it's supposed to be jumping. I think so. I don't know. Maybe, perhaps. Ooh, one more thing. It's not full enough. Okay, okay. I need to find more stuff. I need to find more beef. Ooh, there is, there is a. Okay, so we are human. We're not robots. Or we killed all the humans. Kind of a lot of dead humans around here, like they're trying to reach this place, but 
they're not there. They couldn't get there. Something stopped them. Okay, I see a red gl uh, glowy thing down there. I'm gonna get that. Yoink. And one more here. Ooh, this is a big one. Yoink. Bam. And it's going, it's going, it's going, it's climbing, it's doing stuff. Not sure what kind of stuff or for what reason or why, but it's doing it. And it locked into place, meaning I can activate something else, something from up there. This one. Voila. I don't think I have enough power for the last bit, but I'm gonna see if I can activate it. Nope. I have to find one more of these. I wonder what would happen if I just fell down here. Can I save? Okay, so I'm gonna jump down. Okay, initially I did not die. Initially I did not die. But then I died. So the fall didn't kill me. Oh, it reloaded right from where I uh, left off. Okay, I'm gonna try... Uh... What? It just went dark there for a second, I don't know why. Did I stick my head in the texture? Did something... Did the sun explode? Also, there's a blue glowy thing down there. Maybe I'm supposed to go down there. Let's see, can I find a way... Can I break the game? Th this is the question I must always ask. Can I break the game's progression by doing something else? Okay, okay this is again, this is the demo, so... Don't take this as being the final version, the final quality of the final version of the game. But I'm gonna try and break it. Because I wanna. Okay, no. Okay, there I died a lot sooner. Let's try... Yep, it went dark again. Okay, I'm gonna... Do something else. And see if it goes dark again if I uh, look in a different direction. Okay, got down from there. Looking around. Again, it goes dark here for some reason. Okay, I'm gonna try this again and turn on my flashlight and see if that helps. If the darkness is something that's in the game or not. Okay, the darkness just popped... Oh, I think the darkness is related to me dying. So maybe the darkness is just uh, what happens when I click on things after I come back to life. No, they, uh, it, it's a... Yeah, it's the screen that was supposed to show up earlier, but it didn't. Yeah, it's, it's not some giant mystery or a conspiracy that's uh, something I will explore. Okay, I saw, I saw the other one. It's up here. It's up here. There it is. Now, sure, jump in this water. Okay, so you do have a life in this game. Let's save here. Can we go down? The water is doing funky things again. One more. Okay, it's half full. The vial is half full. <sighs> now, I'm no expert in optical physics, but mind you... Okay, that was a janky effect. Where is that sun reflection coming from? How is the sun being reflected here when there's... There's no path! Oh god, this game has horrible reflections. It's 2017, people. Quake 2 has ray tracing. Do a better job of making these lighting effects, please, please, please. Let's not see that the, uh, the screen effect doesn't... I mean, it's gone. It doesn't stay for long, which is a good thing. Oh, oh, I actually didn't have to reload it completely to open the store. Okay, so I just could have just uh, sold with one of those. And now we have to jump. No, oh no, this is the manipulation thing. Now it's reminding me a bit of Arx. Arx Vitalis with its many jugs and pots and pans and elevators you could crank up and down. So let's climb up here and let's lift up ourselves. 
lift up yourself. Can I go higher? Higher and higher? Even higher? But I want to go lower. I want to go to the blue thing. Maybe it's a portal to Britannia or something. Okay, I'm up here now. What do we have here? More pots, more pans, more crates, more uh, trolls. This looks like a barn, but it's not a barn. It's a tannery. No, it's yeah, maybe it's a tannery. So we were one of the rulers of this city. We were the uh, the one with the light, the uh, the blue lady. We're the blue lady, okay. And this guy was trying to draw a map and he killed himself, maybe? I mean, it looks like he knocked that over and died. I mean... <sighs> or maybe... It, no, it could have been an explosion. Maybe someone shot him from behind. No, it, it looks like he drank this and died. Like, I like bits of these kinds of game where you have to think for yourself like how did these people die this guy looks like sort of like keep reach for this drank it and then just fell over but you know my analysis would probably be absolutely bunk because i don't know maybe his life force was suddenly evacuated from his whole shell or something and there's probably a more complicated explanation involving demons and dragons and statues and skulls and why the sun is so red. Okay, maybe we're on a different planet and the sun is red because it's it's a red sun. Maybe this is Krypton. Okay, so the Tingamabobs each had a Tingamabob for uh, the central Tingamabob. And I'm supposed to find them properly and the recombobulate the Tingamabob and then the... There. Yeah. And then. Yeah. And then then. Can I go anywhere up here? Somewhere else up here? No, I don't think I bl No, I don't believe I can. So that's where I came from, the uh, the thing. And this is... I don't know what this is. Ooh, ooh, ooh there's, a, there's a... There's a thing here. I think I have a map. I have a map now, yes! Okay, so I am... I'm imagining I'm... Uh, I'm here, or maybe here. No, this is the place with, that I came out of. And I came down here, and maybe I'm here? Or am I here? I don't know what this is. Is this the you are here sign? And that's the sextant. And I'm looking at some trees. And I'm supposed oh yeah, this is the thing I'm looking at, the other thing, I think. Maybe. Hmm. I'm not sure. The game also said it had the ability to change projections depending on the, the uh, mouse click, the middle mouse or the uh, scroll wheel. I'm not exactly sure which one. Okay, so we've we got that, so let's climb down. Lower and lower and lower. Actually, can I go there? Can I go from there to there? Well, we'll see. Lower, lower, lower. Oh, wait, I, I can just go through here. Yeah, I got up here. It's a new dawn, it's a new place. Can we move through this direction? Nothing inside. Nothing here. Okay, I think there's a glowy thing there. Yes, there's a glowy thing. Can all these people died either in the proximity of drink or while drinking something, apart from the guys that were at the door. So, it was the drink that killed them. It ran them over with a truck. There's sort of a joke about uh, uh, Miss Doubtfire where he, where Robin Williams says that uh, Miss Doubtfire's husband was killed by the drink, meaning that he... Uh, Got run over by a beer truck. And yeah, apparently they didn't know that was coming. I mean, this is a uh, very disturbing piece with parents holding, holding their child. That's, that's sad. That's very, very sad. Dead babies tend to be sad constantly. Well, not for long. I mean, they won't be sad for long, but it's sad for other people. This is full. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I can actually go down now. Should have actually gone upstairs, like there were some stairs to my right when I came out. Should have gone that way too. And voila, we have... Uh, 
A what? Press left and I have to... Wait a minute, do I have to... Yeah, I think it's inspired a bit by the whatchamacallit. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 this. Um, no, it's not doing anything. Okay, let's look at controls a bit. Control, vile, interact, map, pro okay, pro I have to press F to project. Oh, that was easy. And now we're in the darkness, in the darkness of the two men, we're switching levels. I still have no idea what I'm supposed to do in this game, but so far it's... It's intriguing. It's a game. It's got horrible lighting. But that's par for the course for most games. I mean, honestly, after, after seeing Doom... Uh, pardon, after seeing Quake 2 with ray tracing every game looks like shit now yeah now the thing was being run on titan x oh the textures are not loading the thing was ran at, on a titan xp and didn't run well it wasn't even uh, fully rendering the scene because you know ray tracing does take uh, quite a lot of power and precision to actually do right even in real time even in non real time let alone in real time but still, it, it made every other game look like hor horrible. Okay, so... Uh, I was mourning the loss, the death of someone. And we shipped them off down the uh, river to the thing of Bob. I think that's Anubis or something. That's supposed to be a representation of death. That's the death guy. The alchemist, he's a death guy. And he used the vial to light up the darkness. He went across a swamp and found... Zombies, no, he found plants, and the plants is where we made the drink from, and the drink killed us. We all got high, didn't we? We all got just way too high. Tonight. And someone did die tonight. Okay, he made a broth from it, a tea, sort of. He drank it, and he became a monster, and we have to kill him? And it looks that that's the general sign for I'm gonna die. Oh my heart, it can't take it. No wait. No, he's still alive. Okay, I'm gonna eat one more and he gave it to me. Oh, oh, it'll heal the sick, the sick. So I was the the priest to light. Uh, I was the mother basically, from uh, from D and D, from Faerun. Okay. You know, what's a good thing about... Something I like about these kind of things is that you can have your interpretation of them and the game will sort of make it seem like your interpretation is right but in the end you realize that your interpretation is wrong and it's actually uh, contrary to what the game actually tries to tell you. Like, Janta Blow, Blow did that with uh, that time... Uh, with Braid, yeah, Braid, that was the name of the game. That was an amazing thing. Look, he's healed. And the, the particle effect disappeared for a second. He doesn't even need a key anymore. Look, you've made an Ubermensch with him. We will conquer the world. Let's pick this up. Okay, so we made a healing herb. And the healing herb probably turned everybody into zombies or um, into vampires. And we are uh, we are legend. And ooh, there's, there's shadowy stuff. Oh, we're standing on the lava, but it's killing us. Okay, yeah. Remember, kids, standing on lava, never a good thing to do. But I've never seen lava look this... Well, it's probably just the ground is really hot and it's not actual lava. Because if this is the lava, my God, have we gone back in time. <laughs> and there's shadows, smoky shadows. Maybe they're supposed to form a shape. I think that's what the the witness had uh, at its core, like things were supposed to form shapes in some way. And uh, we can find plants, can't we? Okay, so that's the projection change. Okay, we oh that heals me and probably kills me too. 
Okay, we're gonna visit this uh, this house. Can I actually cross the river without dying? That, that's what I want to know. I'm gonna visit this house and then we're gonna end the stream. The stream, the, the, the show. The play now of Up Pipe. I actually forgot what the name of the game was. And it appears that I was extremely wrong in my assertion of being able to cross this river. And I hope that it saved a bit later than I did. Because otherwise... Okay, it's saved right here, but it saved... Uh, I wonder if I can skip the cinematic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can I... No, I can't seem to be able to pick it up. Okay, yeah, yeah I can. I can. I can. After a short while. Okay, so I can actually do that. Uh, let's see if I can find a way to go and... Uh, Oh my god, I can probably bunny hop on my own the way there. It looks like I can jump quite high. Can I get enough momentum to actually get up there? What is this thing? Does that recharge me? No, that, that just lights the thing. And the red sun's back at it. The, I like the mist. The mist looks okay, but... That lighting, that red sun just makes things horrible. Let's see, we have one more house here. Let's light this up. It's got a bit of a witchery feel to, feel to it now. Rise. That thing just grew through my to my to my monitor lens. Okay, we have that in case we get hurt. So far, no enemies, no uh, no threat, just the occasional falling of things. It's we saved, I believe. Man, can I jump high? Uh, am I Super Mario Bros? Voila, we... We killed the furnace. Life... Ooh! So it wasn't the um, the vial that killed the world. It was uh, it was technology. Blacksmithing is evil and must be purged. So it's that kind of a game where technology killed everybody. Yeah. Whenever people rail against technology, that we should go back to a more at that time when we're closer to nature. I just say the following: We're the only species this her this plant has ever had that can conceivably defend itself against a meteorite and everything else on the planet. I think I think that's what the planet was going for. Also, sort of nuked ourselves a bit uh, along the way, but hell, hey. What, what's a couple hundred thousand compared to countless billions? Don't ask the next question. Let's go up here and we'll end the, uh, the stream. The stream. This is the stream. This, this is a recording. This is a pre-recorded thing. They want this to be a stream, I can try and make this a stream, but it will kind of suck. I mean, I this PC can't stream very well. It's it's just a quad core. I could try and do it with, with the... Uh, likely it could stream, but I'm not sure exactly how well streaming... Well, I know it can stream some bits well, but it won't stream every game well. Should I do the show live? That's the actual question I'm posing to you people right now. Should I do this show live since I already don't really have time to do it properly anyway? I mean, you won't really be losing much in-depth analysis from me on account of I won't, be, won't have time to actually do much anyway. Answer in the, uh, the comments. I'm curious to see what what you want. To, the one, when could you actually do it live? Yeah, that's going to be a problem because I don't actually have the time to consistently make the show at a certain date, a certain time, every day, or every two days a week, so no. It won't actually work live. God damn it. I almost had an idea for a couple of seconds. Almost had an idea. So here's my conclusion of the demo build 2 of Aporia. It's like a mist that isn't as annoying. So it's a better mist. If you like mist, you may like this too. If you don't like mist, then you're like me. Then you may still enjoy bits of this too. So I'm gonna save right now in case, I don't know, I have to come back to this game someday. And I'm gonna jump into the water again and kill myself. Okay, I'm not dead.
but I'm gonna be in a second. We are going over the edge into the danger zone. Wait, that's... Oh, so I did, did take a turn, okay. And voila, we are now... Okay, let's second rock for a second and we are down. Well, I'm gonna see... Oh, the game is available on Steam for the price of 17 euros. It's made by Investigate North. I investigated every cardinal point, just to be safe. And it's published by Green Man Gaming Publishing. And it was released on the 19th. I've already had a patch or something on something of July. Well, gonna see you again soon with a uh, another play now with something else. Goodbye.